Yeah, let's see if this thing really earned a gold award. Is the Ace of Vegas, the Ace of Vegas. And welcome back to Ace of Vegas, Spinners and Sharks is here, and today we are going to be playing some Roaming Reels. So, Roaming Reels is an Ainsworth game. I believe that's an Australian company that likes to make these slot games, too. Much like Konami, they are a partner with uh, Play Studios, and they like to lend their games and their games' likeness to Play Studios so that we can play some My Vegas games and get the real casino experience. But, I wonder how Roaming Reels really is. It allegedly has one of those gold awards. I don't know what that means in slot terms there, because as you guys know, I'm not a slot player. I play video poker and blackjack, uh, but you know what? I'm willing to give it a shot if you guys are all now. Let's get started. Okay, then. Well, let's go ahead and see if this Ainsworth game is really worth the gold that its award is printed on. Let's go ahead and put 100 spins on the clock. On your mark, get set, ready, and go. All right, guys, so thanks for uh, watching the live stream on Saturday. I'm pretty sure I did one on Saturday uh, just to see uh, what you guys thought of doing some live gameplay. I was going to do some slot gameplay, but we had such a terrible time with the slots, uh, me and the guys did. So we decided to go ahead and uh, play a little bit of video poker instead, just because you guys know me. I'm a card game guy, and I don't, I, I don't like slots at all. Slots and roulette, I refuse to play. People love uh, roulette for some reason, but I don't care much for roulette. So I played that, played some uh, live table blackjack and some video blackjack, and I'll tell you, good stuff about your local's casino is your local's casino, the odds are so much better. Uh, you can get a lot of free stuff initially, I think you really gotta focus more on your gambling though, and there's just not a lot of non-gambling stuff to do there. Writing up a trip report about it pretty soon, so that'll be something to consider consider watching there. Uh, yeah, I'm not sure if you guys are going to want to want to watch the whole thing. I did a room tour that should be up. Um, gosh, when is it going to be up? I'll go ahead, you know, I'm just going to go ahead and link it. I'm just going to go ahead and put a link in the upper right hand corner. Maybe one in the description box below there. I didn't see this game over there. I did see a lot of games and I saw a fair amount of my Konami games up there too. Uh, I think they had My Konami Dragon's Law. Uh, they had China Mystery. They've had a few of them that we've played on the channel. I think China Shores was another one too, so that was a shocker that they had so many uh, familiar games. And I was looking at them like, huh, oh, you know what? I think I could play this. I know how to play this one. I could just go ahead and put a hundred spins on the clock and then do it for real, because that'd be funny. Just to put thirty bucks through each of them, because I think it's their penny slots and it's like thirty credits is the low end, uh, low end bet there. So I actually probably could go back up there if you guys want me to and put a hundred spins on the clock for each one of them We'll just call it a mark on your market set ready go just to see and then we could see which one actually has the best uh, Payback percentage or the worst hold percentage for the casino. I should say so it just depends on what you want to call it uh, Yeah, so we went to Isle actually for Cap's birthday uh, Cap had a good time got got together with the the rest of the crew all Avenger based it was a good time. Uh, you know, and I, I really do like the, kind of like the atmosphere up there. It give, very much reminds me of like an old school Vegas. It gives me that sort of feel right there. Uh, especially because it's, it's just a gambling town. There's not much else to Black Hawk but gambling. I think they have one full-fledged uh, resort casino. That's the Ameristar Resort Casino. But it's really just the large companies that have the larger hotels and casino uh, resorts there. Otherwise, it's mainly gambling halls and parlors and all that, and smaller casinos. Which is an- oh wait, what do we got here? Those glowed for some reason, why did, why did the savannah glow? I don't understand, what's going on? We won some- oh, we get the free spins. Let's go, let's go free spins. Okay, here we go. And those are paw prints, what do the paw prints do? Nothing, apparently. This is interesting. Apparently, you oh, okay. <laughs> That's it's a big one. It's a big one. That's cool. The pop prints just don't do anything. Oh wait, no, I lied. The pop prints do a lot. They fill up the board and pay you back in money. All right, forty million. Not bad. Not bad. All right, let's go. Let's go. Let's keep it going. And that was our first uh, big bonus after I think forty spins. So that put us a little over our starting payback, our starting payback, our starting bankroll. Uh, which was 1,643,773,919. Uh, so we're up 12, or excuse me, 13 million now. If my maths don't fail me. 
which thankfully they don't. And these hits are big. When we hit one, it, it hits big. That's not bad. And there's a little something there. Uh, you know, I'm not hearing the background music. I do keep hearing the, uh, the coins go off. And I'm hearing the reels. I'm just not... Yeah, the background music is just really quiet on this game. I'm not sure if it's the setting I made or if it's just me. But the background music sounds really quiet here. I'm sure on playback it's going to sound completely different. But for some reason the background music is super, super quiet. Alright, awesome. And now we are actually getting prepped for our uh, Vegas trip here. So a little over a month before we do that. We got the car show all booked. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and book the love show next. Because I know you guys wanted me to go see the love show. Even though that's two shows in the same night. So I'm going to be out to like 11 o'clock doing that. Because <laughs> I love you guys. And I definitely want to make sure that you guys get to appreciate all the shows that I have. Uh, I'm going to have two tickets for that. So if anyone's hanging out in Vegas. And they want to go ahead and go to the love show with me. Feel free to. Um, otherwise, I wonder, I wonder if our... Uh, Special guest star for that episode is gonna wanna go hang out there. Gonna have to see about that, and we'll go ahead and film a film a review together. So that'd be pretty dope. Have to see about that. Also gonna have to get ready for the podcast too. I think we're gonna do a regular podcast. Uh, thanks again, guys, for joining us on the last podcast that we did. Uh, thinking about doing a revamp of the whole format there, especially since uh, we don't have a lot of regular guest uh, hosts anymore to help us out with these things, and it's a uh, you know, I like doing them by myself, but I also like the interaction, so I think it's going to be a lot more important just to get a guest host in there. All right, let's go ahead and get a couple more spins. I think we got three more to go. So two more, and there it is. Here's our last spin. Let's go, let's go. Hit something big. All right, all right. Four and a half milli. <laughs> I can respect that. All right, Spinners and Sharks, so let's go ahead and see what our total is now. Looks like we've ended today's game with 1,629,473,919 chips here. So I'm going to do some maths, as usual, and then we'll go ahead and uh, count up the booty, let you know what the results are. All right, guys, so we did some maths over here, and it looks like our... Uh, Bond girl over here is just going to try and offer us uh, 99 cents worth of chips to make up for our loss. And that would more than make up for it because it looks like we had a loss of about 14,300,000. Meaning that we ended this experiment at 90.46% payback. So not a bad game. As far as games go, very little interaction. Spins fast enough. But you know what? It's not strong enough to get a favorite. Uh, I think so far it's just Glee Little Pigs and Red Rock Roxy that have made it. Uh, I think at this point we're almost out of games here. I think Monster Maniacs is one we haven't played. Crystal Planet is one that we haven't played. And I'm just looking at these games over here around the world. I know I feel like we did Mass Ball Nights. I know we did Lion Festival. And I know we've done Captain Candy Cane. Glee Musketeers, we did that one a long time ago. We haven't done 1001 Wilds. Uh, probably going to have to put up a poll to see what else you guys want to play over here. So I feel like we've done pretty much all of them except for Real Chef, Real Amigos, and Sherlock Hound. So we're probably down to about our last uh, last half a dozen games to play on the ga uh, this game over here. Oh, also, I don't think we've touched Frontier Fortune. going to have to look at that. So that's a, that's a vaulted multi-game over here. Needless to say... I think that's about it for the day, guys. Let us know in the comment section down below how you've done with Roaming Reels, too. Also, let us know if you enjoyed our trip to Blackhawk. I'm hoping I have something up by then. I recorded this one in advance, but I hope I have something up about the Blackhawk trip by the time you guys watch this. I'll have a couple more videos of that, too. I might toss in a couple more Minnesota videos just to keep things mixed up and let you guys know that we're a slightly bigger travel vlog, but the focus is still going to be on casinos in Vegas, and we have a Vegas trip coming up. I think that's about all the announcements I have. Tune in next time, guys. And until then, Ace of Vegas is signing out. Once again, wishing you strong hands and happy spinning.